the main thing of the measurements of blood pressure is that we need to have the arms exposed. It's an oscillometric device, meaning, the, meaning that the machine, the cuff, uh, sends the vibration. Okay, so it has to have direct contact to the patient. And uh, we measure using both mach two machines, so because we would like to measure blood pressure in both arms simultaneously. So this is sort of like a, the red marker. Okay, I'm gonna feed it through here. And the brachial artery is more or less here. Then, okay. There's the other arm. See the red mark, which is the sensor mm -hmm. of the brachial artery. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's it. The midpoint of the arm should be at the level of the right atrium. So this is this is not the right. So this is more or less right. Comfortable, back supported, legs on the floor. Okay, let's do this. And you always so tempted to talk to the patient. You want to take a history, you want to ask about life, but we have to avoid talking. Okay, so oh. so there is some difference between the left and right, but mm -hmm. it might be because it's the first measurement, okay? Just relax. The, the, the point of deflation to the next measurement should be about a minute gap, okay? So you just relax, okay? We need to use validated automated devices. When I mean validated, it means it's validated for use in pregnancy and preeclampsia, okay? One measurement in left arm, one measurement in right arm, uh, sequentially using one machine, the difference between the left and right arm is bigger. Whereas if you do the blood pressure simultaneously in both arms, the inter-arm difference in blood pressure is smaller. So I think it's a matter of timing. <coughs>